Alright, 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 good game one on uh, Nashville, that's the name of the stage. Okay, so we, uh, oh, so the up was probably just to avoid uh, getting caught in center there. Yep. Oh, the down air still caught that. What, he acts out of it, wow. Down air too strong. But yeah, this is a, a really weird matchup. Um, Zelda really doesn't have like a lot of problems with this matchup besides dying early. I mean, but she dies early in every matchup, so usually not an issue. What but... I imagine has to be hilarious is uh, Rayman throwing out an aerial, and then all of them just losing an up smash. Yep, that is part of it. Is that Zelda can kind of just oh yeah. no, that's a really tough SD actually at 50. That's so much like wasted potential for that, but. No, yeah, it's tough for uh, for Zelda for sure. Uh, she can't just up smash a lot of aerials, but it's hard for her to approach because you know you can't approach an up smash. That's not like a real thing. So Rayman's just gonna do a lot of running around, trying to bait out those up smashes, then punishing with down tilts, stuff like that. Maybe Lockjaw. But Zelda, Zelda wants to be uh, wants Rayman off stage. Wants to blow Rayman up off stage with a uh, Din's fire, maybe forward air. Even neutral B can catch a lot of club stuff. But right now, Ender's just kind of better playering uh, Zelda right now, like Heike. <laughs> yeah, he's. It's not looking great for my boy Zelda. Not yeah. looking good for him. It's uh, it's always a tough matchup too. I, I I understand what it feels like to be playing a slow character versus a fast character. It's uh, it can feel pretty pretty embarrassing sometimes and pretty frustrating when you can't get in and you want to like hit them so badly, but they just say no, I'm a dash back. But you gotta just you know. Make your plays. Up. Stay calm under pressure. Smash there. A little plum stuff. Took it. Oh, what? He down here at the plum, though. Uh, and right there, that's uh, Din's Fire on plum. Ender takes two plum hits and the Din's Fire hit, so that's a ton of damage. Wow. Oh, but it doesn't it. matter. Ender too strong, what can I say? Takes game one. Super fast. I uh, wonder what the uh, the counter pick is here. Now we're going to uh, going to Pokemon. I like this. Uh, Zelda loves killing off the top. Uh, Rayman doesn't usually, although Zelda's pretty light, so we might see like up air confirms or maybe up smashes off the top. But generically, I like this for Zelda. Oh my God, the SDI out of these is so good by Edmund. Oh yeah, if, if Ed just got that SDI, that makes a huge difference. Take a lot less damage. Oh yeah, forward air too strong. Zelda doesn't have a lot of great options to deal with uh, uh, Rayman just running in and pressing aerials. Oh, really good mash there from Zelda. A little too much charge. That's okay, there though. he goes. Just just take takes the takes the charge he needs. But like like I was saying. Uh, Zelda's really slow, so you don't have a lot of options like dash back. Like the dash back's not really available to you in this matchup, really. Uh, you can just catch it with uh, dashing through aerials and whatnot if you're Rayman, because Rayman's pretty fast. So it's definitely gonna be tough for Zelda to have to adapt to uh, Ender just running in and pressing buttons. All right down tilt, yup smash. Is that gonna kill? Not quite yet. Zelda's light, but not that light. Oh, okay. Scared me there for a second. Yeah, that smash too strong. Yeah, right now Zelda just kind of getting people are running around and Zelda can't do much about it. Ender is perfectly scouting around under all of uh, Zelda's grounded options, which is really where we thought Zelda was gonna get a lot of mileage out of things like up smash and jab and whatnot. But Ender's scouting, so uh, he's doing a good job avoiding all the options and making the play to uh, get as much damage as he can without really Ooh, having problems. Out of it there. Down to up smash. smash, so strong. Yeah. Just charging. <laughs> it is important to remember the move does get bigger uh, the longer it's out. It does. Um, Ooh, back hit down smash, taking the stock. He's up two. He's up three to one again. Yeah, this is just the the matchup and experience is no longer a benefit. I feel like Ender knows exactly how to play against Zelda at this point. Just knows what he needs to do. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 
It's definitely a frustrating matchup for sure. Um, I had this problem a lot when I was playing in tournament and I was playing Peach. I'd play against someone playing a fast character and I'd get really frustrated. Mm. And it would be like, wow, this is so hard to deal with. But yeah, uh, you know, it can be tough. I'm switching to Sheik here. Perhaps a last desperation attempt. <laughs> Potentially. But definitely a better matchup for uh, between the two, I would say. Needles matter so much in this matchup. And also just ha having high speed and having good priority, good range. It's just nice to have. If I was Zelda, I would do like the the Danny approach, and I would be I would pick up both characters. Cause sometimes it seems so tough for him. Yeah, Shielda is fair. Also, yeah, Deedles right there, broken. Like I said before, they were important in the matchup, and that's why. Switch is back. Yep, just in time to get F smashed though. So yeah. unfortunate. No, yeah, I personally think if you're gonna pick up either Sheik or Zelda, you should play the other character as well, just so you can switch between the two. It's actually such a valuable thing to have. Whenever I played doubles, I had a Zelda, a Shielda that I used for doubles, and it was very effective because people would be expecting Sheik or Zelda, and if I was having trouble with the matchup, I would just switch and be like, hey, look at me, I'm a different character now. And having just the competence, the confidence, just all of those things to really do it is very important. Yeah. All right. All right, running it onto the tiny stage, which I like. Again, I'm a big believer that slow characters like small stages. It just gives them all of the uh, all the space that the other character wants to run around on. It just doesn't exist anymore. And all their grounded options that cover a lot of space matter so much more. Ooh, that's such a clutch down here. For real. Yeah, I feel like when Ender goes off stage deep like that, he's been getting away with it. But uh, Zeldad is uh, able to get the punishes with uh, the down air being strong enough to break through Ender's uh, up piece. Okay, good conversion here. This is Inspire. combo. 60. We take those. We take those. Yeah, it's good damage. And uh, with this matchup, you need as much damage as you can get because sometimes finding a kill on Rayman can be hard. And considering uh, Rayman is one of those floatier characters, I imagine you don't even have like a throw up air or anything even no. close. No, you you really gotta find like you can get a lot of like cheeky stuff off of back throw, like back throw just killing because it's so strong, or just smash attack scaling. But really, the way you want to be killing Rayman is by gimping, especially with like Zelda, because Zelda has good tools to gimp Rayman. But it can be hard because if you don't get Rayman off stage, then you never get a chance to gimp him at all. As you can see, the punish game just uh, too strong right now. From Ender, he's just getting the hits and keeps hitting them. Ooh, Ooh, make doing this back. Oh, get down! Yeah, no, it's like it's like melee Peach, except you can't even do the Parasol Flutter, so even less yeah, options. Died to that. That is that is wild. Not looking too good, but this is only one stock deficit. Character with a strong punish game. Ooh, I don't even know if I can say anymore because he's SDIing well out of us. Yeah, Ender's definitely got the SDI on point. A huge benefit in this matchup because almost all of Zelda's like good neutral moves are uh, multi hits, like her jab and her up smash. Oh, no. Is that Dead. is that it? Wow. That's roll and uh, Ender with the uh, with the clinic on how to play the matchup, uh, taking it 3-0 super quickly wow. too. It's light. I liked him. All right.